name is Blessing and I have BTZ business owners like you to get more business deals with improved business English skills. Alright, welcome to this week edition, this week podcast. I want to say big thank you to you, to all my listeners, for where where you are. You are important to me. Thank you a lot. Enjoy the podcast. Hello everyone, welcome to this month's edition, this month's series of podcasts. Welcome. Alright, I want to say thank you to all my listeners from Nigeria, from United States, from Oman, from India, from Mexico, from Germany, from Colombia, from United Kingdom, from Somalia, from Cameroon, from Japan, from Thailand, from Belarus, from Jamaica, from Guatemala, from Canada, from Ireland, from Haiti, Hong Kong, Taiwan, Azerbaijan, Italy, Zambia, and Tunisia. Hello, everyone. I want to say big thank you to for being my listener, for listening to my podcast. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. From the bottom of my head, I'm bread from. Alright, so this week we're going to talk about five strategies to start interactive business conversations with your foreign clients and business partners. Alright, so, as usual, I'm going to ask you a few questions and apart from that, alright, but this one I'm going to ask you something interesting. Alright, so how many of you have done this? Like meeting up with someone important to you for the first time. Now a few days before that, you are to check yourself out in front of a mirror more than five times a day because you are checking if you still look good. <laughs> you know, checking out what you look like in your pictures compared to the person standing before the mirror. Then you feel like, well, I think I feel a bit different. Okay, you go to the store because you are an important person may not like who you look like face to face. You get out your courage and went to meet your important person at the other place in time. And it turned out that your important person was madly in love with what you look like face to face. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Now you like this important person a lot. But a meeting turned bad because you hardly said anything. And if you're a shy person, you will understand this. And shout out to every shy person uh, listening to me. <laughs> Alright, back on point. Let's move to a business viewpoint. You know, you have this new foreign clients and business partners that you have always wanted to work with. I mean, your perfect idea, new clients and business partners. Everything is working out smoothly. So both of you, you so you both agreed to a phone call. When you started talking, you noticed that your client or business partner's English proficiency level is higher than yours. For the first seconds, your confidence disappeared. You became uncomfortable. Everything you wanted to say disappeared. Your throat started getting dry. You started thinking of 500 ways to handle the call. Most importantly, you wanted to continue your business conversations by using email or messages. Hmm, am I lost making sense to you? Are you interested in knowing more? Alright, so I want you to like and download and subscribe let me repeat that i want you to like number one number two subscribe and number three download this podcast so that you will miss this like you always have this with you and you will miss my order podcast coming out yes wait
all right and next month to come so i want you to be honest have you experienced something similar okay you know i'm not there with you so be honest with yourself during your next business conversations i'm only to use those five five strategies five doable strategies i will help you act interactive business conversations with your foreign clients and business partners all right i want you to try them out until they become a part of you you know that's when it's gonna become natural it's gonna feel like this is natural and bad of me you know those five top guys to have an anxiety in business conversations with your former clients and business partners you know are important i think i know and i think that they are important interactive business conversations with our clients with a foreign or local are important for us as business owners are important to us as business owners yeah, you all agree that every business depends on relationships. You know, most business relationships are built on trust and mutual respect. You know that every business relationship starts with a conversation. Whether you reach out to them or they reach out to you, you all start with a conversation. Yeah. Are you interested in creating exciting business conversations with your former clients and business partners? The kind of business conversations that would make your clients and business partners think that finally they have connected with the right businessman or the right businesswoman. Finally, they've connected with the right business order. Are you interested in this for yourself? If that's the kind of business conversation you'd like to have with them, how can you make that happen? How can you make yourself comfortable during business presentations? I want you to know, remember, that there was a day that you decided to start learning business English. You know, it's time for you to decide whether you want to start creating exciting business conversations with your foreign clients and business partners or you want to continue the boring uncomfortable business conversations you have always been doing you now it's time for you to decide my busy business earners you know apart from me giving you those five strategies these five dribble strategies you would help yourself when you put this strategies to use during your next business meetings you know if you were taking them out to do with your bad business english conversation skills if you were not able to start to improve your business conversation skills it's fine it's good no problem you know not everyone is a natural born talker it's understandable you can learn how to be one. Do you want to learn how, for the sake of building every business relationships with your foreign clients and business partners, send me a message with the word no nonsense on Instagram at friendly coach. Let me repeat that. Send me a message with the word no nonsense. No nonsense on instagram at friendly coach okay if you don't know the spelling of friendly coach you'll see that on the title friendly coach exactly so you just go to search oh, i'm sorry you just cite that on instagram yeah or you just tap on it for that you can see my other social media and just on i don't know wherever you're listening to these maybe on anchor spotify or i don't know amazon music i don't know i don't know samsung i don't know but just tap on my profile then you'll be able to see my social media and just all right so you know you don't want your clients and business partners to think that you are only talking to them because of your money you know better than this than all this 
as the smart business owner that you are. Now, I can be of help to you, but as if you would allow me, there's no fun in running around circles and getting frustrated. But I can lead you directly to your desired results with zero stress. All you have to do, sweetie, is send me a message. For you to send me a message with the word no nonsense on Instagram at friendly link coach. Sweet dad, it takes five seconds to do that. <laughs> it is five seconds to do that. Now, you might be thinking that, I don't know, maybe just five strategies will help me out. Now, proof that your business English conversation skills can get better. And that's it, okay? Not the most better than living proof. Let me repeat that. Nothing works better than living proof. And if this is the first time you are listening to my podcast, I'm honored to have you here. And to my frequent post, uh, I mean my frequent podcast listeners, thank you. And to those that send me awesome feedback, thank you. Back on track. This person is speaking to you. This person is talking to you. This person you listening to her voice is living proof. You know, as a non-native English speaker, you understand what it's like to improve your business English skills. Now, to improve your English skills, let's start with that. To improve your English skills as an adult, then you take another step of faith. You understand what it's like to improve your business English skills as a busy business order are we on the same page like do you understand me let's continue you don't need to look fair what do you think is the best person to help you get a results you desire someone that i've been there where you currently where you are currently at someone that understand you better without you trying how to express yourself to explain yourself as a non-native english speaking business owner if you were getting an idea of my words, awesome! That means that we understand each other. Are you interested in expanding your businesses internationally about improve business English skills? Don't forget to send me a message with word no nonsense on Instagram at friend of a couch. And our parents tend to understand our parents. Business owners tend to understand all the business orders. Non native English speakers tend to understand non native English speakers. Look no further. If you are interested in no nonsense step by step guidance on how you can expand your businesses internationally or improve business English skills, send me a message with the word no nonsense on Instagram at friendelic house. I read the first do able strategy. The first do able business English strategy that I have for you is ask questions. But it acts like an investigator. Don't repeat that. The first do able business English strategy that will help you have exciting business as I in a business conversations with your former clients and business partners. The first one is ask questions, but don't act like an investigator. Alright, next one is try to be comfortable when conversing with your former clients and business partners. You know, I understand that their proficiency level, their, their English proficiency level may be higher than yours. There's no big deal in that, sweetie. Okay. So be comfortable when conversing with your former clients and business partners. All right. And the next one is be real. Don't be fake during your business conversations to develop trust. As a business owner, you know what trust can do to your business and what it can do to your businesses. Great. 
And the next one is mirror your listeners' body language. I mean, your clients and business partners' body language, especially if you are face to face, belly to belly, toe to toe, even if you run a video call. Oh, yes, the video call you can mirror the body language for them to feel comfortable with you. Like, wow, this person understands me. Mm -hmm. Who doesn't like that? Alright, and the last one is listen attentively. Let me repeat that listen attentively. Your clients and business partners will appreciate your attentiveness. They will surely appreciate your attentiveness. Alright, thanks for joining me this week. See you next week. for people thank you thank you i'm saying a big thank you to you for listening to this podcast right from the beginning and to this point thank you <laughs> all right in case you want to give me feedback or you want to speak with me or you want to work with me you can share me out on instagram at friendly girls on twitter at friendly girls on facebook at friendly girls and I'm letting them blessing and lattice on me. Blessing and lattice on me, okay? Or you can search for business English coach or business owners. I'm letting them business English coach for business owners. Then you will see my name, blessing and lattice on me, alright? Or you can check out my website www.friendlylycoach.com www.friendlylycoach.com And see you next week.